Hello and welcome back to another end up other video. Today we are going to be talking about a few systems that will be rolling through the US, possibly impacting one of your commutes either in the morning or in the afternoon, evening time frame. We're also going to be talking about our brutal cold temperatures as they continue their march through the US. So if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Right now I am on the National Weather Service page. We have a few winter weather advisories. But mostly, right now, we are focused on wind chill warnings and wind chill advisories that are plummeting into the northern U.S. And this will be continuing throughout the next few days as this Arctic air mass continues to push deeper and deeper south and uh, eventually into the east as well as in parts of the deeper south. So, let's just take a look here at the NAM. We're going to be first looking at our few storms that will be occurring throughout the, the week. Then we're going to go into temperatures. Then we're going to go into some snowfall tables. So, first storm, just a little clipper system. Nothing really too significant here. Maybe a widespread 1 to 3. Potentially some 3 to 5 inch inches. Maybe even some areas seeing 5 or 6 inches of snow max in areas of the Ohio River Valley. Then eventually this moves into the northeast, dropping a decent amount of snow. Nothing too major, but something that could maybe make your evening commute a little bit slick there on the I-95 corridor, especially in southern New England there. Then eventually that moves off the coast, and we start to take a look at maybe a potentially more major system moving into the northeast throughout the Thursday to Sunday time frame. But that is only starting to load in here on G the NAM model, and we're going to look at that more on the European model. But in terms of our temperatures, let's do wind chill. Look at these temperatures. And they're only going to be getting colder and colder throughout the week, especially as we get into the next few days here. Possibly negative 40, negative 50 degree temperatures in the mornings. Like right here, negative 50 degree temperatures. Horrible in terms of waiting for the bus in the morning or going to work, getting out of your car. Make sure you have extra blankets. Make sure you have extra layers on. This is abnormally cold. Even though this isn't records, we don't see this often. So definitely make sure to bundle up there. Now in terms of snowfall totals, there, again, nothing major. Just overall, maybe some areas seeing six inches plus in the Ohio River Valley, as well as of course some mountain snow. But generally, we're in that 1 to 6 inch range in these blue colors. So, let's move on here to the European model. Now, on the European model, we're going to be looking at storms, our simulated radar, and snow totals. So, of course, this nor'easter that moved through yesterday, but we moved through. And we have that quick shot of snow on Tuesday in the northeast. Then we have this next system. It takes a little bit longer to get through as it starts to develop during the day on Wednesday, moves through areas of the Great Lakes region on Wednesday, Thursday, and then eventually moves into the Northeast Friday, continues throughout Friday, and ends maybe early Saturday in some spots. And then another low pressure forms, and we get more of a coastal storm this time around on Sunday and that ends off the week so maybe another shot of snow through the early week time frame presence day through the great lakes region and into the northeast but that's where this model run ends so let's take a look at some snow totals so this does include yesterday's nor'easter so don't mind that but Probably the target for most of these storms is going to be the northeast. The northeast probably seeing closer, maybe some 20 to 30 inch amounts here, getting close to 2 feet of snow. Of course, the northeast is going to be very primed to get some of these snow events right now, since the polar air mass is going to be kind of centered here in Ontario. And you can actually see that since there is this very low amount of snow for a very broad area. That's where that blocking high pressure will be, just continuing to churn in some cold air, but also bringing in some clipper systems, 
those develop when it gets access to the Gulf and the Atlantic moisture, and that all results in some more powerful storms moving through the Northeast. Again, these are multiple storms. We're not going to be seeing all 20 inches of this falling at one time. Just quick shots of snow that just adds up when you get multiple of them in a row. But that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.